Welcome to another episode of What Really Happened. It's episode six. I'm Carter Hall, your host. With me, I have the owner and founder of Trapster, um, Hugo, uh, Hugo Hernandez. Hugo, thanks for coming on the show. How's it going, man? Hey, what's up, Carter? No, thank you for having me, man. Thank you. So, um, so as I was uh, saying, you are the founder and owner and the CEO of Trapster. Um, what does that kind of mean to you? Like, can you talk, kind of talk to me about what Trapster is and what it means to you? Uh, traps just start off as a, an idea in our living room, to be honest with you, with my wife for a t-shirt. Oh, wow. Uh, started off as basically an acronym of a lot of people, uh, look at Trapster and a lot of people don't know what it is. And a mm-hmm. lot of people associate it with, uh, a term of like a, a, a trapper, uh, mm-hmm. a drug dealer or something, something, something to the effects of like yeah. a trap house or so forth. And to us, it's a completely yeah. different meaning. Um, uh, if I could go into depth, um, you know, we have, it's an acronym. Every letter has a meaning. Uh, we got T for true, true to yourself, R for relentless, you know, A for ambition, uh, P for passion, S for success, uh, T for triumph, uh, E for exceptional. And actually the last, uh, the last R is probably my favorite, which is righteous. That's you awesome. Know, man. I, I think righteous really sticks out. Um, it's just a very, I think it's a very beautiful word. You sure. know, so that's that's the meaning to our brand. That's that's what we represent as Trapster. That's pretty awesome, man. So I just want to know, how did you come about creating Trapster, the the word, the acronym, and the meaning? How did you come about creating all that? Um, just me and my wife talking about something, something impactful to put on clothing, mm-hmm. with with a meaning behind it. Because everybody's first question always is, well, what is Trapster? Well, now that you ask, this is what it stands for. Mm-hmm. You see, and then they see that there's there's more to just the word because every single letter has a beautiful meaning to it. Yeah, for you sure, man. Yeah. That's pretty awesome, man. So, um, was so when you're creating the the process of Trapster, the clothing line, and anything like that. So, how were did was there a target audience in mind or was there a specific group of people or can you kind of take me through uh, that no we we actually like i said we started uh actually in 2019 we started mm-hmm. off first just making the first first batch of shirts for family friends that's awesome i wanted i wanted people to feel the quality of the t-shirt we wanted to put out there and then that's really just all it was it was just a couple of shirts everybody loved them and they said hey you got to make more you have to diff- mm-hmm. different colors and so forth and that's what that's what pushed us to it. That's actually, actually how we started. That's actually how we started. Oh really? Yes, sir. That's pretty sweet, dude. Um, so you said the kind of like the everybody kind of fell in love with like the clothing and everything like that, the feel of and everything. Um, how did you come about? I guess kind of designing the whole trapster design. Which might might I add, you're kind of wearing a dope shirt right now. It looks like a thank you, one. thank you. Um, yeah, that, so actually, this one's not released yet, but we'll talk about it soon. Cool. So um, how did you come about the whole designing process and anything like that? Can you kind of yeah, maybe well, describe actually, it for people who don't know? Yeah, actually, I'm actually going to probably go into more depth. People, a lot of people don't know. Um, actually, it's 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 more driven not only by, by us, but by our actual uh, people that are part of our design team mm-hmm. and the actual people that print our shirts. That's actually who pushed us into mass marketing this thing. Into oh, wow. mass producing, yeah. So uh, their name is Juan and Amanda. Uh, without Juan and Amanda, honestly, this brand wouldn't be alive. And yeah. I say that because that's one of the first couple of people that said, "Dude, not only did I make these, then not only did I manufacture these shirts for mm-hmm. you and your friends." He's like, "But they said you need to put it out there." Yeah. Like this is something that could really, really kick off. Like you need to put these shirts out there. You picked a pretty, pretty, up, uh, uh, probably the best quality T-shirt to print on. And you need to put it out there. So that's that's actually the the backbone of the company, believe it or not. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of yeah. people don't know that. Um, I'll have a lot of designs. I'll sketch them out all on paper. 
I sent mm-hmm. them to Juan and Amanda, and they make it happen for us. So they're they're amazing, beautiful people, and they're actually uh, they're actually probably a, a pretty big important part to our to our t-shirt company. To be honest right. with you, just because they believe that it could, it could be something amazing, and so far it's been. So it's it's pretty cool to have people like that on our team. That, that's pretty cool, man. I never knew anything about that before. Yeah. That's pretty interesting hearing about all that and how something like that, you know, just for you know, two friends um, who I want to say shout out to Juan and Amanda for, you know, helping you in that process. So all these different yes. people, not just in, here in Amarillo locally, but what I've seen around the nation, it seems like wearing these shirts, you know, whether what state, no matter what state they live in, they're repping trap shirts. That's pretty as a fan or as of your clothing line, that's pretty awesome to see that, I believe. And I just want to know, how does that impact? Is it how does that impact mean to you? What can you kind of talk to me about? What about, uh, um, you know, about that impact to you? Honestly, it's more it's more of a shock, but more of a, it, we're grateful. Mm-hmm. Probably grateful for you. Probably that's the word I really want to emphasize on because just grateful to have the support from different people, different walks of life. Um, Wearing the brand, I mean that's sure. that that's amazing that mm-hmm. that we have people buying shirts right now that don't even like the color, but the fact that they want to support us, it's pretty it's pretty sweet, you know. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's the amazing part of this. Um, and, and just our audience, our audience, it's really really we have everyone. It, I mean, we have gym junkies wearing it to oh, wow. to someone like me, a catch potato wearing it, you know. <laughs> It's 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 amazing that we're not a, just a selective brand. Like everybody loves the T-shirt, they love the meaning. They go read our biography on our website, and and they want to support that. And it's it is pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty interesting, man. And might I say too, you I don't think you're much of a couch potato at all, because dude, when you're in the gym, I don't know how much I can't tell you how much like you influence me to actually work out better. Because like there's been times like, dude, Hilky's still going at it. He's still. The beast I remember from the oh, first no, day we met you, each other. Thank you. No, thank you, man. Like, and, and, and we all actually inspire each other. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, look at your weight, how your weight loss journey. I mean, look, look, look how far you've come, and you still got yeah. more to go. You for know, sure, it's, it's it's amazing. So I think it's just amazing for us to be surrounded by just beautiful human beings. I think it's yeah, pretty man. sweet. You know, that's that's really and, and and thank you, huge compliment because there's there's times I do I do slack off, and there's times I like, man, I have to go back to the gym. But I think you as yourself, me, myself, my wife, all of us at Two Bros Boot Camp, we have an amazing, we have an amazing support support mm-hmm. system there, especially with our coaches. I think that's really that's pretty sweet. For sure. So I just want to ask, kind of talking about the gym and things of that nature. Um, I see a lot of people wearing trapster, at, you know, clothing at the gym. They're wrapping it, you know, they're. Lord knows how many times you had to do burpees and stuff like that, and or run 400s, and people are just still repping it, you know, still loving it, or anything like that. So, um, has there any been? Has that is with the gym always a, a your main target audience, or can you kind of uh, talk about that? Yeah, no, no, I, I don't think it was my main target audience. I just think it's my main group of supporters, people mm-hmm. like you. Um, I noticed like right, you never take your bracelet off. You always have yeah. your trapster bracelet on. You know, and then look at the other brace that you always wear as well, too. Your Two Bros Boot Camp. Yeah, so sure. just that wasn't, but just it's amazing. Shout out to Two Bros Boot Camp to, to, I mean, just to let, let everyone, they always let everyone know, you know, like they support Trapster. Mm-hmm. Uh, they always wear their Trapster merch. Shout out to Manny and Eric. They're amazing, you know. Yeah, and uh, I think it's pretty cool to have, have the gym a uh, big following like we do at the gym. Um, is that my main audience? No. Is that what initially it's going to? It is. It is. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, it, it's okay. You know, like, I, like yeah. I said, I have I have family from all around Texas wearing it. And mm-hmm. some family do sure. work out. Some family don't. But uh, you're right. To be able to look in, walk into a gym, see you wearing your gear, see Kara, Steven, everybody out supporting. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I, I dig it. And super pretty... grateful for it, too. Awesome. So... Um, is there any one one specific area of clothing that you have gone into? Or you're like, oh man, this is a lot more better than I expected it to be, or or all around clothing? Do you think, oh, this is what I love? Um, you know what? First, I was really stubborn and said, I'm doing t-shirts, t-shirts only, <laughs> yeah. because even during the winter, I see people wearing t-shirts, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, until we started diving into the hoodies, 
Oh, well. Uh, so we started selling Adam hoodies. Actually, our first release hoodie was a uh, maroon with the white ivory and a black mm-hmm. with the white ivory. And uh, I remember posting it on Facebook and uh, selling selling out within 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, wow. That's awesome, you know? dude. So then, so then that told me, like, hey, quit being stubborn. There's Even though, you know, there's other stuff out there that people will like and they're going to support you, go for mm-hmm. it. And we did. And we had a huge, 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 uh, awesome turnout and uh, couldn't be more grateful. Uh, actually, yeah. as a matter of fact, our our maroon with ivory white hoodie was aimed more to like a WT audience like you. Yeah. You know, sure, because man. you can't go wrong with those colors. Those colors are sick. They're dope. Yeah. You know, they're, they're maroon and white ivory look, look pretty, pretty, pretty clean together. So that was one of my first hoodies that sold out in a matter of minutes. And then it moved into your classic. You're black with white. But yeah. now that we're talking about that, as a matter of fact, that was actually one of my main targets was, was man, maybe I'll get get some people from WT wearing it. You know, look, look, mm-hmm. look how beautiful this looks. And uh, it's been amazing since then. It's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet, man. So when I first saw, like, laid my eyes on your hoodies, especially the maroon and ivory one, I thought that that was – my, that's what my first thing was about. You didn't even tell me it was meant for WT, but that I mean, me being a senior at WT myself, I was like, man, this I wouldn't mind wearing this hoodie in the fall and winter, yeah, you know, on way to class or whatever. And if anybody were to stop me, like, hey, this is my 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 my, my best friend or when I my homies from the gym, he'll go. He's this is his company. That's pretty cool to actually have that opportunity and being a college student, like, oh, Trapster, what's that? And like I said, just go into it, you know, kind of tell them like the, my yes. a buddy from the gym and all that. So was that something that you think? So let me ask this: um, How has um, how are you a different person today, owning your own clothing line than you were, I guess, previously? Um, I would say it's been a humbling experience. Humbling yeah, experience, so. I would say, just because. Um, just seeing the gravitation of how my t-shirts are selling Mm -hmm. it's 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 just humbling to see it's it's amazing it's beautiful to see everybody support you um i'm I'm really just trying to leave uh i'm really trying to dive into not just being an entrepreneur i know everybody uses that word oh entrepreneur entrepreneur." (laughs) i get that but to me it's ownership to know i own something to know that that it's mine it's for my kids uh my kids go to college something doesn't work out my t-shirt business is booming they can always fall back on it. That's their company. You know, it's something mm-hmm. that, um, that's just a big goal of mine. You know, I, yeah, I right. come from, uh, I come from a low income home, a uh, single mother raising three kids, uh, shout out to my mom. And, um, that's just really what I wanted to embark. And I wanted to put a really big stamp on ownership and being something, meaning yeah. something, you know, that's, that's really some of my main goals for my t-shirt sure. company. Sure, man. So, do you think that your just your your background and stuff like that has really helped you in the long run with your company? Is that where absolutely. you think you can? Is that where you yeah, think you your motivation? Ab- absolutely, absolutely. Because 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 we've had the nights with very literally we, uh, we we you know the, the hunger, the drive, the hustle. Uh, it's something that we put into our shirts. You know, uh, as a matter of fact, two years ago when I was doing t-shirt releases, I was hand delivering. Oh wow. I would get my list and and yeah. well, I don't know if you remember y'all you you yeah. some of y'all y'all shirts I was I dropping off on, on your patio so I mean that's that's what I want to remember that's what I want to show my kids like hey like it's not going to be handed to you if you want to make yeah. something happen and you want to make it you have to sacrifice and you have to do certain things so for sure, now for this to be a scale to where I have my own website amazing you know yeah, and uh, shout out to Valani Studios. Uh, Quentin Torres, uh, actually one of the guys that told me like, hey, Hugo, like, you need to get a website. Not because he's trying to sell me his service. Uh, honestly, I just think it was very good advice from a very uh, smart businessman. And he told me, he's like, dude, not just because I want to create your website or whatever. He's like, you need to put this out there. Yeah. So sure. once again, shout out to Velani Studios and Quentin for helping me out. It's uh, it was uh, it was it was because of him, honestly, that I actually went into the the internet world we would call it or whatever but yeah. uh so far i mean just been blessed for sure man so for the people who are watching this right now and want to know who what like where to find the traps for merch at what's that website they can reach it at uh of course on your on the web whether it's mobile or or, or desktop is trapster mm-hmm. t-e-e so trapster t.com 
Okay. Um, of course, we have Insta- uh, we have Instagram. It's a uh, uh, Trapster T as well. And then, mm-hmm. of course, we have our Facebook page. Uh, go hit a like, uh, Trapster T E as well too. T E E <laughs> double E at the end. Oh, that's cool, man. Like you said, everybody, you heard Hugo. Go like the page. Go buy some cool merch on the website. Because it feels like every time I'm on there, I always got to feel like I've one of I want one of everything. I want one every new shirt, hoodie, everything. You know, I there's always something on the website. I think that's pretty cool that I maybe didn't see that the last time before. You know, that's always a new design or even you know the OG design. You know, the red and the black shirt that I remember yes. seeing all the time at the shirt at the, at the gym. Yes. Um, even like I said, like I I don't remember that the other night at the gym, I went up to you. I was like, oh, that's a nice shirt, man. And you're like, oh, yeah, it's a new design. And I thought it was like the same red and black shirt or different, you know, something based off of that. And I, you told me like, oh, we plan on selling this, I think, soon. And I was like, yes. so that's so cool that you're out here. You're doing the thing, man. You're actually you're, – you're, you're grinding away, and it feels like it's paying off. Yeah, thank you. No, and, and honestly, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our uh, designs were driven off of, I would say, we want to do limited releases. Oh, cool. Uh, limited That's releases it. are one of our one of our main uh, big goals, and uh, just to keep everybody just on their toes and, and keep our audience uh, pretty closed in. So, That's pretty cool, man. So y'all noticed that too. That uh, certain summers, certain t-shirts will release. Certain springs, certain t-shirts will release, and so forth. Yeah, man, that's pretty awesome. So, like I said, I kind of brought it up earlier. Is that that shirt you're wearing right now? Is that going to be a new summer shirt? Yeah, so yeah, I think now. I guess now we could talk about it. So this is kind of I got inspired by like the Miami Vice (laughs) colorway and so forth. Sure. So that's (laughs) what we call the the Trapster Vice shirt. Uh, That's awesome. Our summer t-shirt. Um, they're printed, ready to go. And we're actually probably releasing them uh, probably within a week or so. So y'all keep an eye out on Facebook. We'll release uh we'll release little little snippets of here and there, and then we'll actually release the time and date when they'll be live on the website. That's pretty sweet, man. I gotta I gotta go cop that shirt as soon as possible when it drops. So it looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Cool. Um. So I just kind of want to know uh where you know where did you find the inspiration to start your own company, your own clothing company? Where did you find that inspiration? Was it someone or something, or where was that inspiration started? Um, so be- before actually diving straight into what I wanted to get printed on the shirts, I knew I wanted to do T-shirts. Yeah. Some way or another, I wanted to sell some type of T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, after we found the perfect shirt to print on, uh, the design team with Juan and Amanda did the first batch for family and friends. After oh, the first cool. reaction and the first feedback from them, I said, "This is this is what we're gonna want to do." Mm-hmm. You know, I I think a lot of people are actually against starting t-shirt companies because they see very little return from it. Mm-hmm. And don't get me wrong, we're not in it to make all these big bucks, you know. But yeah. the fact that we received feedback of people liking the meaning of the brand and the brand itself, it 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 makes it it makes it worth it for us. That's pretty cool, man. So yeah. I want to know. I kind of want to know now is why, in your in your uh, I guess in your own words, why is clothing so important? Do you think to people and not to people? But like why is I guess and not so why is clothing important to make it more easier? Uh, I, I'm not gonna say I'm a big fashion guy and I know how to dress and do all this, but um, I think a t-shirt in general anybody could always relate to a, a t-shirt to never forget. Oh yeah. You know, or you can sit there and, and you're probably mad whenever something spills on your t-shirt or some, yeah. or your t-shirt rips. Like, oh, that's my favorite t-shirt. Yeah. So I think that's that that's part of it too. Uh, us creating an awesome t-shirt, uh, with awesome material. It feels comfortable on the skin. That's 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 what we were we were looking for. That's pretty cool, man. So that's what I want to know. Um, where, um. What hurdles did you personally face, I guess, when you were starting Trapster? I guess, because I felt like everybody, with, speaking from personal experience with my even podcast, there's always those fresh and no still hurdles. We still face them today. I still face them today, you know, doing something like, oh, man, this thing is not exporting the way I want it to, or audio is off, and whatever. There's something, a, hurt, a little hurdle, you know, small or big, whatever. It feels like there's always something. Uh, for yes. you, For you, was there any? And if so, um, how do you overcome those? Uh, for us would be our first year, which was last year going live with our website and actually running out of product. Oh yeah. 
You see, uh, so what? we, we run out of hoodies, and everybody wanted more hoodies. Well, when I went back to my vendor to get more hoodies, they were sold out. Mm-hmm. Why? Oh, wow. Because but it's midwinter. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So we learn sure. from that. We learn from that situation. We learn now that when, you got to get ready for your winter season, like around August and September. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Cool. You go back and you look at your numbers. You go from there and you kind of you, you learn. That was one of our biggest hurdles would be uh, actually one of our biggest hiccups that we had last year was running out of hoodies. Oh, wow. Uh, especially that maroon, maroon and white one. Sold out. Yes, <laughs> yeah, That's sold cool, out and, and couldn't get any. As a matter of fact, um, I think they barely fulfilled their back order back like in March. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, cool. so but, but we, we know now. We know now. Yeah. We know what we know what to expect for. We know how to plan for this. And and we're, we're good to go now. And that's just stuff you learn. Stuff mm-hmm. that I would never would have known, you know, because of just a, the awesome support and our stuff selling out. Yeah, man. So it feels like you're kind of, like I said, you're overcoming those hurdles as a, you know, owner and founder of a company and CEO of a company. So as you overcome those hurdles as a, you know, like I said, owner and anything, I just want to know, is there anything else for Trapster as a company? If so, what's next? Um, you know, we're actually, um, like I said, I'm really stubborn. Um, I'm actually gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna focus a lot on taking women's perspective of, mm-hmm. of, of the brand. I think in the world world right now, me raising uh, a nine year old that's very sports driven. I think women empowerment makes a lot of sense, you know, to anybody. Uh, so I think now, I think I want to, I probably want to provide uh, more of a line for women. You know, cool. of course, yeah. I did not make unisex shirts. So mm-hmm. That's our biggest deal is they're gender neutral. Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah. So that's probably something someone else didn't know is all our shirts uh, sizes, the way they fit, they're gender neutral. Mm-hmm. So a woman small is a woman small and an adult, uh, adult small for men is an adult small for men. Mm-hmm. So we we're, we focus on a gender neutral shirt. But I think uh, in the world we're in right now, um, I think I, I – is if me as a dad, a girl dad that I call myself, uh, yeah. I think I need to focus on women empowerment and see what I could roll out on that end. That's pretty cool, man. I applaud you for stepping up and doing that, bringing that message forward to Thank people. You. So that's a really awesome thing. And I want to say congratulations and I applaud you for doing that, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Man. Thank you. So um, has it felt the, you know, have that impact I guess on uh, the impact of Trasher, um, how does it feel to it? How can I, how can I word this? I'm sorry. So uh, how does the impact of Trapster, your brand, um, how does it make it? I'm sorry. I'm trying to word this right. Um, how does it feel to know that the impact of your brand is making it the way that it is on people? Like, the way that it is, how does it feel to for you as a person? Uh, it feels It feels amazing. It feels amazing uh, walking walking out like at the mall or walking out in a restaurant and then someone mm-hmm. besides a family friend or a friend or even just a Facebook friend, seeing someone that I have no idea who they are wearing mm-hmm. your brand, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's probably the best feeling to know that it's 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 mom and pop shop, to know that it's it's packaged here in Amarillo and shipped out here in Amarillo and see someone, that's pretty cool. Uh, even more cool just seeing even internet traffic from around the world. Oh, yeah. Uh, shipping orders to Colombia was pretty cool. Um, wow, Colombia! Uh, I think yeah. Last time I was in the back end of my website, and I had uh, we had seven viewers. One one of them was like Russia. Oh, uh, wow. And it's just just cool stuff like that that you can yeah. see that what your website's it's generating. That's what's amazing. Um, yeah. Another thing that that we want to focus on is actually we want to be to the point to where we could give back to the community. Oh yeah. You know that's that's the big statement that I want to do. Uh, I know Tom's does like uh, they sell a shoe and they donate a shoe. So yes, sir. In, in the future, I'd I'd want to do certain T-shirt releases for different foundations and donate donate proceeds to those foundations. Or uh, in the future, if, if if God willing, you know, let me sell a T-shirt and donate a T-shirt. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's man. that's one of our focuses is is really just giving back to the community. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It's like I've seen. And kind of speaking about community, I kind of seen people, like I said, in the gym wearing it all the time. That's one. That's one little I think section I've seen people wear it, and yes. like yeah, like I said, it's everywhere. Like in not just the you know Amarillo, Texas. It's you know Arizona, Colorado, 
California. Cali- it's all these different. Yeah. Uh, it's all these different. It's in Russia now. It's all these different yeah. countries. It's, you're taking it global. You know, it's pretty cool that you're doing something and you're the way that you want to get back to it is pretty cool. So I think that's just pretty awesome that you have that drive to give back yeah, to people. Thank you. Yeah. yeah man. So, um, yeah, man. So is there anything else like to add or shout out to anybody right now as we close uh, out? Yeah, de- definitely. Definitely want to shout out to um, all our supporters, everybody that's been there from the beginning mm-hmm. uh, supporting our brand. Uh, I want to shout out uh, my wife, Marie. Um, that's, you know, sure. that's my backbone, you know. Uh, <laughs> yes, shout sir. out Juan and Amanda, the people that don't know who's behind uh, the print and part of the, the design because I put everything oh, yeah. on paper. We, te- we, we tweak a little bit things on Adobe Illustrator and mm-hmm. Juan and Amanda make it happen. Oh, um, yeah. sure. Shout out to our gym. Shout out to uh, the Two Bros Boot Camp. Uh, some mm-hmm. of our biggest, biggest, biggest supporters. Uh, I think every time we show up to class, they ask us when our shirts are going to release. So to have people like that behind you is amazing. Shout out to my family, my brother, my sister that have been supportive for my brand. My mom. My, my yeah, mom sure. rocks, rocks her traps and shirts all the time. <laughs> so just just really everybody behind me, it's, it's, it's been an amazing ride. And, and we're really, really grateful. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. Like I, you know, like I said, uh, before we ha- head out, like I always said, like, I, it's two different things. I know clothing and podcasting are two different worlds. But even, you know, it's pretty cool to have, you know, like those community around you like i always say with podcasting you know it's people don't see i guess the 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 behind the scenes part of things you know like you know making a design for a shirt or selling trying to sell it or this and that or of course you may know more about than i do i don't know if you're selling shirts but i'm more about like for me i guess personally it's more like about like editing and all this different stuff you know trying to get an audience and so it's pretty cool that you know like i said it takes a village i think in my eyes for me you know for podcasts it takes a real village you know it's pretty cool that like you said, it's getting the recognition, you know, it feels like it's pretty cool that to see it finally pay off. So it's pretty cool because even when, you know, in the gym, you know, it's pretty cool to, to see all these different people wearing it. Even the coaches, Eric and Manny wearing it all the it's time. It's amazing. And, yeah. Super yeah. grateful for them, man. Super grateful yeah. for them. Um, I mean, grateful for someone like you too, that support the brand. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's really, it's been an awesome ride and hopefully we can, we keep trucking along because I mean, we have way more ideas to release. Um, we're going to release, we're definitely going to jump into the whole joggers and sweatpants. Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to jump into uh, crew necks. Um, of course, more hoodies, different designs. And, um, it's, I mean, yeah, uh, I definitely want to do something special this Christmas coming up. Um, I want to do something, uh, I want to do a pretty big, uh, a pretty big release to where, um, I want to donate some proceeds to uh, like Emerald Children's Home or or something like that. Some people less fortunate because we I've been there for those Christmases, you know. Oh um, yeah. So I definitely want to give back and um, just be amazing, you know. Uh, we want to we want to target uh, an audience of just in general of good human beings. That's pretty. You know, cool, that's man. that's one thing. That's one thing people ask me like, well, what's your what's your target? Well, who do you want to target? A human being, a good human being in general. Someone yeah. that could read the the meaning of trapster and say, hey, one of those words I stand for. For sure. Or like I say, you know what? I stand for all those. Yeah. I may not be perfect, but I want to drive to be exceptional. I want to drive to be successful. Um, I want to drive to be righteous. You know, I want to do right. You know, mm. that's kind of that's kind of the, the the I would say the big the big audience I'm trying to capture. You know, not yeah. necessarily just gym junkies and stuff like that, but I mean, just in general, your overall person. You know, your overall yeah. person that wants to throw on that comfortable T-shirt to go out to eat. And that it looks good and feels good, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah, that's man. that's what I want to target. That's pretty cool, man. I mean, like you said, like you kind of brought up, like you said, you said it perfectly. How you said you, even like how they can relate to one word or even the whole thing, the whole trapster acronym. I think they have a great person, founder and owner who represents all the whole acronym perfectly to a Thank T. You. I think. Yes, sir. So I think it's pretty cool that you're actually out here doing it. You're actually doing some things that most people would be scared to do you know you're you're taking that step that most people wouldn't do you know i think that's pretty cool man so i'd like to have thank you for coming on and yeah man no, no so, problem. Thank, thank you for having me it's actually my first uh actually my first interview in podcast i've had oh, different really? people ask me to be on their podcast but i mean it was never really gone any much further than that so thank you for having me mm-hmm. and uh to your audience thank y'all thank y'all for watching this and uh and for supporting us i appreciate it that's pretty cool, man. Thank you. It was an honor to have you on, like first interview, first podcast, or anything. So, no problem, 
Yeah, man, I'd love to have you on and see, you know, talk about more of your company, how it's grown and stuff like that. And you're not just about working out, not just about your, your, your clothing, but working out, anything, man. You're always. Yeah, no, you let, let me, you let me know when you, when you want me back on, man. We'll, we'll be there. Actually, cool, I actually need to, uh, need to send you some merch there, man. Oh, you, appreciate you it. You doing your podcast, man. That way you, you could, you could show it off. For sure, man. I'm always going to willing to sell it off, you know. Good deal. Good deal. Yes, sir. We'll cool. get you some going your way. I appreciate it, man. So everybody go to the website, chapter website and go like their social networks anywhere, everywhere that you could be found. Do it. And Hugi, thank you, man. I- hey, no, no problem. No problem. I appreciate you for having me, Carter. And we, we will be in touch, brother. For sure, man. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Have, thank you, everybody. Uh, have a great weekend. And yeah, man, have some good, you know, fun. So later, guys. Hey, did you like watching that last episode of What Really Happened? If so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content on this channel.